Hey guys, welcome back to another video and uh, basically today we're going to talk about basic greetings, words that you should know uh, when coming to Brazil for the first time. I think it's very important, um, especially if you go to any, any country you don't speak the same language, uh, to be able to communicate at least a little bit. Um, at least for me, in my building where I live, I have, you know, there's not a lot of tourism going on right now, but there's a few people who are from the US or England or, or any other country. And a lot of them don't really communicate uh, to the staff or the, the, front, the front door service people, the, the security of the building. They just simply walk by, don't really say hi or hello. And a lot of people, unfortunately here in Brazil, don't speak English fluently and know very few words. So um, just, just to make it a little bit easy on yourself when you're coming to uh, Brazil, for example, uh, it's good to know these words so that you're able to communicate and and just give you know proper etiquette and manners. So the first word uh, that we're going to talk about is oi, oi, which is hi in English. Um, I think this is a very important word that you that you gotta know when you're coming to Brazil. Um, it's the same if you went if you don't speak English and someone was to come to Canada or the or United States and they couldn't even say hi or hello. I think it's kind of, you know, not, it, it's not helpful when you're going to a new country, I think. It, it, it's, it's beneficial for everybody, I think, if, if you learn some of these words. Um, the second word, uh, which is very important, is obrigado. Obrigado or obrigada, if you're a woman. Um, so this is another very important word. So. Basically, if you're at a restaurant or you're having service being done, it's a very important word that you should know so that you can thank the person uh, that's giving you service or, or whatever, any advice, you know, you could at least share in some of the, in some of the language uh, spoken here in Brazil. Um, the third word, which is similar to obrigado, which is less formal, is valeu. Valeu. You're gonna hear these. You're gonna hear this word. You're gonna hear all the words that I'm talking about uh, many, many times if you're here in Brazil. Um, it's just very, very casual way of saying thanks. You know, thank you, thanks, and that's you'll hear that much a lot of times here. Uh, the fourth word, which you hear probably more than any of the words that are on my list, I think it's top five word, top six is cara cara and you're gonna see i'll put it up in the description put it in the uh description here for you and this is basically a way of saying like i'll give you an example oi cara it's like hi guy it's not really used much in uh, canada or us it's very 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 rarely used in english uh, this word cara which is guy um it's used quite a bit here in Brazil, I have to say, a lot. And even between males or females, it's, it's used uh, intergender uh, ways between all, whether you're friends. It's, I wouldn't say it's used with family, unless you're like cousins or brothers and sisters, I think. You wouldn't really use it with your parents. I, I, I don't hear it too much between children and their parents. I could be wrong. Um, if any of you Brazilians speak English can tell me that otherwise, just write in the in the comments below. Um, another very, very uh, important word that, not even necessarily important, but just useful and fun to use would be legal. Legal. Uh, this is a word that you can say, oh, cool, you know, ah, legal cool you know it's it's a very very used um, it's a word that's used quite a bit here in Brazil um, you're gonna hear that a lot as well I think that's um, goes without saying uh, word number six is also another important word no which is no in English um, this word particularly is a little bit difficult to pronounce because of the the sound that it makes in Portuguese, and not a lot of the English speakers are able to pronounce it. It's more of like a nasalized, nasalized um, sound where you say no, 
no, or you get it from basically in the nose. It's not the easiest word to pronounce. Um, there's a lot of words in Portuguese that have this sound, and no, uh, saying no in Portuguese is no exception. Um, the next word on the list is seven, number seven, is sim, which is basically yes. Very, another very important word. Um, you're going to hear this a lot as well. Sim. If you want to say yes to somebody, just simply say sim. It's almost like the Spanish equivalent of si, just that it has the uh, ending sound of sim. It's like a, another similarly difficult sound to pronounce, but it's you don't say the M fully. It's more like sim. Uh, but a lot of people, you'll hear in, in actually in Portugal, they'll say sim with that M sound at the end, but in Brazil, not so much. Uh, number eight, which is more of a phrase rather than a word, but it's equally important, uh, especially if you want to, to greet somebody um, as you're passing by. Um, it's, very, it's very, very common here in Brazil to greet people, even if you don't know them. I, I would say um, it's less common in Canada. I, ca I can't speak for the U.S. because I haven't lived there, but I, I would imagine the U.S. and Canada are about the same. Um, but saying good morning is very, very common to, to say here, even for strangers. So it would be bom dia, bom dia. So this is very important that you that you use this uh, phrase while you're here in Brazil. Even if you don't want to have a conversation, you could just simply say bom dia. The other way you can use bom dia is if you're just saying uh, good day. It can be like good day to you, you know, bom dia. Um, if it's in the morning, it's it's basically means good morning. Uh, uh, number nine on the list would be the opposite of of bom dia, good morning, and that would be boa noite, boa noite, which is good night, or it could also mean good evening if it's not too late in the evening, I'd say between 6 p.m. and 9 o'clock, uh, you could say bon, bon noite. But it's actually, to be honest, this would be used, you would say bon noite in the sense that if you're like not going to see the person the rest, rest of the night, you know, like it really depends on the time, but also the meaning if you're like saying, well, have a good evening. In that case, then you would have to phrase it out of the way. Um, but it's also very good to use, especially just saying good evening. If you're out in a restaurant or something and you just want to say good evening, you say bon noite. And finally, word number 11, um, which goes basically in unison with good morning and, and good evening, good night, uh, would be good afternoon. Um, this is one that would be pronounced in Portuguese Boa tarde, Boa tarde. And this is, a lot of people use that here, even if you don't know the person. Like I said, here there's different types of norms, um, manners, where even if you don't really, you just pass by, you could say good afternoon or whatever when you come into a store. I use it a lot. I mean, I, I found that it actually makes, makes things a lot more enjoyable when you're doing it as well. But yeah, so these are some of the more important words that you need to, that I think would be very useful to use uh, while you're coming to Brazil and you want to communicate with people. And I think it's very, I think it's definitely very important that you know these words. Um, I will put them in the, in the description below so that you can see them, how they're written. Um, and yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed, give a like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel, the growth. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video with more words and more wonderful things about Brazil. Take care.